everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. <clears throat> Not feeling the greatest today. I'm going to push right through and do a little craft. We're going to keep it simple today. I found this scrapbooking paper at Hobby Lobby and loved it. Look at this. All the beautiful stars on one side. So it's kind of cast gating down or across and I am going to put that on one of these bamboo cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and we're going to make a big beautiful bow and we're going to use some of the letters from the Dollar Tree and spell out USA. So the first thing I want to do is paint up my letters. You are probably going to hear the lawn man he is circling around. Let's take off our um, plastic covering on our bamboo cutting board. I love these bamboo cutting boards. You gotta stock up when you see them because they kind of fly out of the Dollar Tree. Um, it's a beautiful piece, a beautiful piece of bamboo. And I guess what we will do is go ahead and get this, um, adhered to our um, uh, bamboo cutting board so that that can be drying and then we will paint up our no no I'm going to reverse that we're going to do what I originally said we're going to paint up our USA oh my goodness right grab yourself a cool drink or a hot drink whichever you prefer Put your apron on and get your paintbrushes out. Let's have some fun today. So, Memorial Day is coming. It isn't until the end of the month. I understand, but we do have to... All my paintbrushes are upstairs. Dirty. I'm going to have to use this one. Okay, so... I'm going to just paint them all the same color, and I'm using Ocean by Waverly. I love the color of this, and I feel like it's going to go with a little bit of stars that we have in our little um, paper here. So I am going to get all the edges inside and out, paint them all the same color. Now you can do these in black or red or white or whichever color you prefer. I just thought this would match um, the blue in the stars. I have two different color blues in the stars. So, get this one all painted up. And I will do the rest of them the same color and we will be right back. Okay, so we will let these dry. We have USA, we have UAS actually, the way it is on the paper. I am going to bring this forward and bring this backwards so you won't be able to see that for a minute. Uh, we are going to use the purple glue stick. Now you can get this at the Dollar Tree. This is the giant one. You can get this at the Dollar Tree right now for a um, dollar twenty-five. So you know what? Before I do this, though, I am going to take my sanding block and just use it up really quick because they do put a coating on this, and I want this paper to be able to stick really good. And I am using the glue stick instead of my podge. You can use my podge if you don't have the glue stick handy. Um, but I just thought we would go with the purple glue stick, I'm trying to incorporate that more and more into my crafts. It's so much easier and so far so good. All right, we have that sanded. Now I'm going to give this a lot of purple glue. I don't know if you've ever watched one of my subscribers, um, Christine turned me on to Caitlin, Crafts by Caitlin. I don't know if you've ever seen her use this purple glue, but she put so much of this on, you can see the purple. I mean, she just smears this on. So I'm trying to do that, but you can't see it. I don't know why, but you can't see it. 
Maybe it's the wood. But anyway, I think I have plenty on there. And we're going to just place our paper down right on the edge of one side. And then we're just going to smooth it out. I'm going to use a Dollar Tree scraper. You can get this in the bakery or the baking section of your Dollar Tree. And it's perfect. It's got a little round edge. And it just glides over your product. You know, your paper, your napkin your um whatever it's really amazing so that's what we have on the back so now we'll just cut off our excess and then we'll trim it up with our sanding block easy peasy love this paper now dollar tree did start selling paper so i'm so happy they are starting to listen to us right but they're selling the paper in these little teeny weeny weeny packs. So come on Dollar Tree, give us some sheets. You're almost there. I'm gonna wipe off the purple glue off my new scissors because we don't want those to be all glued up already. They're brandy new. And we'll put them, keep them handy here. All right, let me just put a little bit more in the corner here. This is sticking up and I don't want that. All right, we're going to just give this a few minutes to dry up here. Let's go, go over it with some heat, and then we'll sand it. Did I put my sanding block back? Okay, everybody, where's my sanding block? I found it. It's not where it's supposed to be. All right, just give that a little heat. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I love it. Look at that beautiful paper. So pretty. All right. Now let's take our sanding block. I hate sanding. And let's go around our project. And then it will look like it was factory made on there. Whoops, I won't be pounding on the table. It'll just trim it right off so that it looks like it was made on there. Like it was, this side's good because we started at that side. The corners need a little, a little zhuzhing. I love this gator um, because I can hold it with my hands so nicely. Sorry, I know I make faces. I hate the sound. It's like chalk, nails on a chalkboard to me. So, we're almost done. Almost done. I guess I could have edited this part out, right? But this really is just a quick five minute craft. All right, we are done with the sanding. And see how the little papers just come off? Can you see that? That's amazing, right? All right, let's put our trash away and wipe up all this sanding now we have our beautiful it looks beautiful just as it is right all right now let's see hopefully our letters are dry let's bring them over i think we can look at this blister you guys can you see my blister i don't know if you can see that it's right in the middle of my finger omg I actually have one on both hands, but this is the worst. All right, let's just dry these up really quick. Make sure they're all dried, and we're not going to transfer this blue paint to our surface. And we're going to glue these on. I think I want to just give these a little sanding as well. Go around each one just a little bit. Kind of outline it and like, you know, distress it a little bit. Love that look. If you don't like that look, then you don't need to do that. Now, these are wood letters and I'm sanding it and they are kind of sanding off a little bit. So just be careful. And now I'm just going to give them a little zhuzh on the front as well. There. 
Look at the difference between these two. Can you tell? This one looks a little more like blue jeans. So we're going to put you. I'm sorry you can hear the lawn man. He's out doing the lawn and weed whacking and all the things. Seems we always get on here at the same time. <laughs> it's all right. Life is life, right? I love this. Um, you can use a emery board as well, you know, to get in and out of these little, because this is a little spot here. So use a little emery board. That will work to get in and around all those little nooks and crannies. Because I do want the whole letter sanded. I like my edges to be sanded and they show up better that way. Some people take a stitch or pen and just do a little stitching. Who told me who that was? Who does all the stitching? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't retain things. There's so many things going on up in this crazy head of mine. I have a hard time remembering sometimes the little details, you know, like it's probably just not that important in my daily life to remember who does all the stitching on their little crafts. Somebody wrote to me, write to me again and tell me who was it, who was it? I only watch a few people because um, I don't have time. I'm doing my own crafts and um, running my own little business, so I don't really have a lot of time to watch a lot of crafters. Um, and plus you run the, I watch Kathy, is that her name? I just found Kathy. No, is that her name? Oh my God. Never mind. Here's a little tiny hole right here. We're going to have to use our little gator in the little A. Because my, um, emery board doesn't fit fits on the bottom though. All right, now we have our USA all sanded. Looks more like a blue jean denim now. Loving it. All right, let's get all that sanding off again. A little OCD when it comes to messes. All right, now we're gonna put USA down in the corner here because I'm gonna put a big bow here and we are going to put our bow up in the corner, up here in the corner, and then we'll get a little hanger going. So let's just put, I'm gonna start with my A so I can space it all the way to the end here. So A. S. You, United States of America. Yes. Love our country. Love, love, love our country. Okay, there is our USA. How cute is that? Love that paper. Oh my goodness. Now, let's take, I have Dollar Tree uh, Star burlap ribbon and some Dollar Tree grow grain ribbon that I got. It's that Ospray, 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 I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I already cut some strips of that, but let's open up this burlap, this beautiful, I thought the star ribbon went so well with the star paper. I mean, look it. Can you see, like, look at this paper first. All the stars, right, they're just cascading. And all the stars in this are doing the same thing. All right, let's, why did I do that? Throw that in the trash. Let's take a couple of pieces of this burlap. And what we're going to do is we're going to just wind it in a bow a couple of times. We're going to just make a bunch of loops. So we have one loop, two, 
three, maybe we'll do four. Let's do four loops. Okay, that ought, ought to be good. All right, four loops. We're gonna squish that all together. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut my loops and make a, a messy bow. I prefer a messy bow so I have to wind this up again because here, we'll just do it in half. Half. I was gonna make a big loopy bow, but I really prefer a messy bow. I really do. So I'm gonna just cut these loops. Actually, maybe if I put a loop and the messy bow. No, just gonna go with the messy bow. I'm just gonna cut my loops. And I'm gonna make X's because now these are inside out. So let's just make an X. X. Yeah, let's do an X. And then I cut already my strips of the red, white, and blue ribbon. So let's just make an X with all of our colors. I don't even know how many I cut, so whatever I cut, we'll use. And then we need some white. We'll do red, white, and blue. And then we'll do the same again. We're going to put our big burlap ribbon in across. Put our red. In our white and our blue and then we're gonna just take a little tie wrap cinch that right up in the middle or actually I have a little um, pipe cleaner I'll just take that so I'm just gonna hold it down with my finger my very sore finger with the blister oh my goodness that was a doozy and then I'm going to tighten that up with my fingers in the back. And just before I tighten that up, I just want to make sure that they're all going to lay the right way. And they're, I'm in the middle of my bow. And now that I have it all cinched up, I'm just going to fold it over and tighten this so tight. Very, very tight there. so that it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I like to keep tightening my wire. Cut that off a little bit. Let's use some, let's use a pair of snips so we don't make our new scissors all dull. And then we'll just tuck that in. And then you fluff out this beautiful bow. Let me work it a little bit. And you will see all of your beautiful ribbons showing. Your reds, your whites, and we're going to give it a little haircut. All these have to show. Ooh, I'm getting a hot flash. Can you tell? Look at how red I am. I haven't had a hot flash in a while. All right, let me just trim off my burlap ribbon giving it just a burlap ribbon cut right now. I'm cutting the first layer a little shorter so we can see our back layer. Just like that. Look at how cute that is. Right? All fluffy and you can finagle it, you know, and play with it, but I just love a messy bow. Love it. All right, we are going to put our messy bow right up in this corner and we are going to hang a, let's do our jute hanger first because I need a sip of my drink because then it will be flat, right? So let's see, is that enough? Probably, let's see. Let's take a piece of our ribbon. We'll use that. Maybe we'll take We'll take a piece of this ribbon and cut it in half. 
and we'll use that for our anger. Okay, so let's find our middle approximately. Give ourselves some glue and glue down our little what, jute here. We'll use this makeup applicator. It's working out fabulously for not burning my fingers unless I'm not using the, the tip of my fingers. Yesterday putting a wreath onto a project and the, the um, I cut that. Here it is. And the wreath, no, no. The glue fell right through the, I was holding it like this and gluing a wreath and the glue dripped down onto my finger and oh my word, my word, this is really un, unfortunate, but. All right, there is our back. We just glued those right on just to give them a good little adhere, you know, to make them stick better. And, adhere, adhere, I don't know. So there's our little hanger, and now we're going to put our bow. And I was thinking of putting maybe a button in the middle or a bead in the middle of our bow. Let's see what we have for buttons handy. No, I have a yellow button. Oh, I have a star. We can use a star. Let's get a little galvanized. I'm just in my bits and bobs right now. We're going to get a star. And I am going to get a blue star. These are left over from something I picked off of a Dollar Tree. I think they were tags. I think they were, whoops, I think they were a um, 4th of July tag, you know, like a big giant gift tag. And um, yeah, that's perfect. I will even give this a little more paint and just zhuzh it up a little bit more so that it's the same color as my USA. We'll dry it up. It was already a nice blue, but we're going to just dry that up. You guys don't even see what I'm doing. So sorry. Let's just dry that up real quick. Love it. Nice little old rusty blue star. And now we're going to just put that right in the corner of, our, I mean not in the corner, right in the middle of our, I'm sure that's hot, so I'm going to use my tweezers. Right in the center of our crazy bow. Use my tweezers to place it there. put my point plate. I'll put my star point facing up. I love this bow. So cute. All right. That really is hot because I did just get a little bit of it. And now we will put that on our little flag. I love how this is coming out. It is just so cute. I love, love, love this paper. I can't say that enough, that this Hobby Lobby paper, I love it. I'm putting a lot of glue here. I want this to hold my bow forever. And we're going to put that right here in the center. And yeah, it's not really ready. We're not ready till the end of the month, but I have my whole house decorated. I have my outside all decorated in flags, a lot of flags from the Dollar Tree. I put, I put up, if you saw my fall, if you saw my Tuesday tree haul, I hauled some flags that you can um, add right to your house you know they came with the little stand and the whole thing and really really cute all right everybody that'll do it for today's craft look how cute that is love 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 that paper i just love that paper let me know if you have this paper and if you have tried to 
craft with it and then the bow look at the bow so adorable right it's probably not anchored yet but fluff that bow out and hang that up and happy memorial day to everybody i'm sure i have another couple of memorial crafts up my sleeve i know i have a good one but i have to wait until after tuesday um because I have to go and see if I can get the supplies on next Tuesday's tree haul to do a craft that I'm dying to do. And it's going to involve Memorial Day and Shore Living Line. So I really have some, um, I, I'm excited to do that. I can't wait to do that. All right, this is a great time for you to give me a thumbs up. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and share this video with your friends, family, and social media. It really does help my channel grow. And make sure you're subscribed because we're going to do a giveaway when we get up to 700 subscribers. And you won't want to miss that. It's going to be a great giveaway. So, all right, everybody, until I see you for Follow Me Friday, I hope you all have a great day. And until I see you again, be good and do good. Bye now. It says that my pen's not going to work.